Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at the somewhat confusing subject of how do I save pattern swatches in Photoshop so that I can either get them back at any time or so that I can distribute them by, for example, selling them online. Before we get started with the video though, I have a special offer for my YouTube viewers for additional Photoshop training at Skillshare. Use the coupon in the description below to sign up for Skillshare and you'll get a deal at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine is even better than that. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. Now let's swing back to Photoshop and let's have a look at the problem we're trying to solve. You've created some patterns inside Photoshop and you want to save them. Well, the question starts by being, do you even need to save them at all? Because when I go to Layer, New Fill Layer and choose a Pattern Fill Layer and click OK, I'm getting access to all the patterns that are in the pattern collection inside Photoshop. So why am I making a video about saving patterns in Photoshop? Surely they are already saved. Well, they are sort of, but not really. They're stored inside the Photoshop preferences file. And the problem with that is that the first thing that people will suggest to you if Photoshop misbehaves, if you can't open it, or if things are going wrong is to reset your Photoshop preferences. So if you reset your Photoshop preferences without first saving these files, you're going to lose them. They're just not going to be in this collection area when you reopen Photoshop. And in fact, this video was prompted by a user who asked me why her patterns disappeared and what she did wrong. Well, what she did wrong was that she hadn't saved them externally. And so when she reset her Photoshop preferences, she had to do it. Then she lost everything. So this is the reason why we're doing that. Now, when it comes to actually saving them, there are a couple of issues. What you'll probably want to do is to save them where you can find them easily. So when I click this drop down here and go to the gear icon, you'll see that there are a list of patterns here. Now these are the ones that are shipped with Photoshop. And I like to keep that part of this dialogue being just the Photoshop patterns, the ones that are shipped with Photoshop. So we're clear as to what Photoshop came up with and which ones are mine. And so these are the ones that are mine. Now the difference between these patterns here and these patterns here is simply a location. These are stored inside the program files folder on your computer and they're stored in an area that Photoshop takes care of. These are stored in another area that Photoshop takes care of, but these are in your app data. Now that's a little bit different on the Mac and I'm going to tell you where that is on the Mac. So what we want to do is to store all our patterns in the area on our computer that Photoshop expects our patterns to be located in. And then it will just place the pattern collection name here at the bottom of the list and we can load it at any time. So that's what we will do with patterns that we want to keep for ourselves. However, if you want to share your patterns with somebody else, then it doesn't matter where you save them to. And the simplest way of saving them then is to put them somewhere where it's really easy to find them because you want to be able to then package them up and give them away or sell them. So you wouldn't be looking at either of these two locations. You'd be looking at something like uploads or pattern files for distribution or whatever you call a folder, just pop them in a folder that you control because you don't need them in this list. You're just developing them to sell or give away. But if you do want them in your list as well and you want to save them twice, save them into the area that is linked to this part of the patterns dialogue and also save them somewhere that you can get ready access to them. So now that we've clarified that there's lots of places that you can potentially save patterns, let's look and see how we would do it. Well, we'll choose edit and then presets and we'll go into the preset manager. Now the preset manager gives you access to all those things that you're going to lose if you reset your Photoshop preferences, which are any brushes you've created yourself, swatches, gradients, styles, patterns, contours, custom shapes and tools. Of course, it's patterns that we're interested in here. Now you can also get to that same dialogue from the patterns dialogue. So for example, if I go layer, new fill layer, and then pattern, click OK, 
and then go to this icon here. Now, if I go to the gear icon, you'll see that there's access here to the preset manager. You've probably never seen that before because you weren't thinking in those terms, but this is what you would do. You can just click it and it just opens the preset manager here. So now we're going to look at saving the pattern. So I'm going to create a pattern collection of just a few patterns. I just want to save my line ones. So there's a diagonal line pattern here. There's a horizontal line and a vertical line pattern. So I'm going to click on the first and I'm going to shift and click on the last. Now, if I want to add any more patterns to this, perhaps patterns that are not side by side in this patterns dialog, then what I'll do is I'll hold down the control key as I click on a pattern. So I'm going to bring this one in as well. So I've got four patterns selected. I've got little blue borders around them. A little bit difficult to see, but if you know what you're looking for, you will be able to see them. So I've got four patterns here that I want to save as an external file. Now, the first time we're going to do this, we're going to do this as if we were going to sell or give away these patterns. So it doesn't really matter where I put them as long as I can find them later on. So I'll click here, save set. At the moment, they're going into one of my video folders. Well, I'm just going to go to my YouTube folder and I'll choose working images and working images for videos. And then I'll make a pattern collection here. And I'm just going to call this line patterns. It's going to be a PAT file because that's how patterns are saved. So you don't want to change that. In fact, it's the only option you've got here. It's going to be saved as a PAT file. It's going to be somewhere where I know I can find it anytime and I can give it away or sell it from here. I'll just click save and that's done. But of course, that's not going to solve the problem of putting a set of patterns where Photoshop can find them. So let's say also at the same time, I'm being prudent. I'm thinking that if I were to have to reset my Photoshop preferences, I do not want to lose all these patterns. So let's go and save them all as a backup copy. I'll click on the very first one and I'll shift click on the last one. Now those keystrokes work exactly the same on the Mac. Every single one of these patterns has a little blue line around it. Now, if there are any that you don't want to save for any reason, you can just control click on them to remove them from the selection. But here, I just want to back these up for safety. They're all going to be saved. And I'll choose again, save set. But this time I have to put them somewhere where Photoshop is going to know where they are. And for this, I'm going to my C drive. So I'll go to computer and I'll go to my C drive. I'm going to give you the link that you would save them to on the Mac, but on the PC, we're going to users. And you'll go to your username. So in this case, it's obviously Helen. And then we'll go to a folder called app data. So double click on app data. And then double click on roaming. And then you get a whole series of application names. Well, this is pretty easy because we're using Adobe software. And then you'll choose what version of Photoshop you're using. Now, this is critical, particularly if you have a number of versions of Photoshop installed on your computer. Just make sure that you are saving these in the correct location because otherwise they won't be there when you go to import them. So you want to add them to your version, your current version of Photoshop, which for me is CC 2019. Double click on this. We'll go to presets and then we'll go to patterns. Not unsurprisingly, here are the three sets of patterns that we saw earlier at the bottom of that dialogue. They're all here. We're just going to add our patterns to this. So this is now October 2019. I'm just going to call this back up October 2019. So it's going to be a backup of my patterns just for safety. If I reset my Photoshop preferences file or if something happens to Photoshop, these patterns are going to be saved to an external PAT file, nice and safe. I'll click Save. OK, so I'm now done with this dialog. I'll need to close and restart Photoshop. We won't see the new set of patterns in this list yet because Photoshop reads the contents of this list when it starts up. So I'm going to restart Photoshop.
So I've now restarted Photoshop. I just have a brand new document open. Let's go and fill it with a pattern layer. New fill layer, pattern, click OK. The last pattern is being selected to fill the dialog. But if I go to the little gear icon here, you'll see that we have the new set of patterns, the backup October 2019 patterns. So let's go and see how this would work. I'm going to Preset Manager. I'm going to select all of my patterns and I'm going to delete them. Okay, so they're deleted from inside Photoshop. Let's just click Done. They don't exist here any longer. But because we have them backed up, we can restore them at any time. I'll go to the gear icon. I'll go to the backup collection and just say, please load that collection. And now the collection is being loaded back into Photoshop so that I can use it. So you can see that it's a nice and easy way of making sure that you back up all your patterns so you can recover them if you lose them for any reason. It's also a way of saving your patterns if you want to create a pattern collection, a PAT file of patterns that you then want to distribute either by giving them away or selling them online. Now, if you're curious as to where your patterns should go, I'm going to give you a link in the description below to this Adobe help file. And it shows you the names and locations of files inside Photoshop. And if you search inside this page, which I'm just about to do, I'm just going to search for the word pattern inside this page, you'll see where the patterns are being saved. Now, this is the location for the patterns that appear in the Photoshop area of the Patterns dialog. That's not the one we want. If I click it again, this is the one we want users. So this was Helen, App Data Roaming, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. And then we chose Presets and then Patterns. And so this is the location for the files on a Windows PC. On a Mac, you're going to put this in your username, application data, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 presets area. But as I said, there's a link to this particular file in the description below because it's a nice handy file to have access to. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things from it that you were previously unaware of. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And until next time, my name is Helen Bradley and thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.